1567, an important word entered the English language. Occult, meaning hidden from view, concealed, secret. Perhaps no word better describes the shadowy activities of criminals and the equally shadowy activities of crime fighters. Debatably, no crime fighting organization better deserves the appellation occult than the Federal Bureau of Investigation. And no man is more synonymous with the FBI and its obsession with secrecy than John Edgar Hoover. The son of a madman, the mysterious Hoover was appointed director of the FBI in 1924. Living dual lives, J. Edgar Hoover was a driven bureaucrat by day and a homosexual Freemason by night. Hoover's 40-year relationship with assistant director of the FBI, Clyde Tolson, was well hidden outside of the inner circle of bureau agents who referred to the couple as J. Edna and Mother Tolson, or Johnny and Clyde. What Hoover did not hide was his hatred of communism, unnecessary civil rights, and anything or anyone he labeled as un-American. During his 48-year reign, Hoover transformed the FBI, steadily expanding its jurisdiction and increasing the number of field offices and agents. Soon, these G-men, as they came to be known, were armed with guns and free of the shackles of restrictive laws. The ensuing battles between the opposed forces of the criminal underworld and the FBI underworld are legendary. When leftists threatened to overwhelm Hollywood and express dissenting political viewpoints, the FBI was there. When U.S. citizens of Japanese descent needed to be put into internment camps, the FBI was there. When the truth behind President Kennedy's assassination needed to be found, the FBI was there. When sensitive Watergate documents needed to be destroyed, the FBI was there. When mob boss Meyer Lansky, who possessed compromising photos of Hoover and Olson, needed to be arrested, the FBI wasn't there. When an armed religious sect in Waco, Texas needed to be stopped, the FBI was there. On May 2nd, 1977, J. Edgar Hoover disappeared. Some believe he died in his sleep and was buried in the rotunda of the Capitol, one of only 22 afforded such an honor. Others, that Hoover's body was frozen to one day again head the bureau like no other could. Some too frightened to say so in serious tones, believe that Hoover's intellect and memories were transferred to a supercomputer, and to this day, he still leads the FBI through figurehead directors. All that is known for certain is that Clyde Tolson arranged for the destruction of all Hoover's private files, and he officially ceased to exist. Whether his fate was heaven, hell, or silicon, Hoover entered a hidden place. A secret, concealed place. The realm of the occult. Today, the FBI operates under six national priorities. The traditional foreign counterintelligence, organized crime, and white-collar crime, combined with the more recent counterterrorism, drug investigations, and violent crimes. Yet, rumors persist of a seventh hidden priority as old as any other. Investigations of the occult, 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 occult.